Hey guys, welcome to the video. Simon the Watch Guy here. I am going to show you the Bull of a Curve and how it's been it, with one year of ownership. I can't believe it's only been one year. If you want to check out the full review, please check out my previous videos. This is quite literally a really short video just on how the watch has been over the last year. Let me start off by saying that this <laughs> this piece has really been the most commented watch uh, commented on watch I've ever owned. What do I mean by that? Well, I've had people who own Tag Heuer's costing thousands of pounds, people who own Rolexes. Every single person I've ever met, really, who, who was into watches or they, they, they just spot something nice on the wrist, every single person has said a, something complimentary about this piece. People just seem to love it. And I almost feel a, li a little bit guilty because there's, there's times where I just don't really give this much wear. At the time, I did have about 20, maybe 25 watches in the collection when I got this. So I never really gave this the love it deserves. But now I've only got three watches in my collection. My anxiety is significantly reduced. It, it has to be said that any watch collector will know the less watches you have, the anxiety seems to fade away. So let's quickly go over this watch. We are in 4K, so this is a higher higher resolution. Hopefully you can see the details a bit better than the previous video, which was just 1080p. We do have a sapphire glass on the front. We also have sapphire glass on the back. We'll come to the back in just a second. This is the titanium version, so super strong material does have a proprietary rubber strap. Now this is the issue because if this thing ever breaks you are kind of up a certain creek without a paddle. You can get a replacement from Citizen who own Bulliver, but they're not too cheap. They're probably about £70 which is near enough $100. Quite a lot really for a rubber strap. But again, with a year of on and off use my strap has been completely fine. So I dare say, if you look after this, it will look after you. Just 30 metre water resistance, which means, you know, be super careful with this one. I, I'm not sure I'd really trust this one in the shower even, which, you know, I don't really take this in the shower for that reason. Whereas the G-Shock on my wrist, that, that goes wherever I go. We've got a, 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 as you can tell, I mean, this is a, a chronograph, of course, so you've got the start, stop, and reset. If you want to use the timer, you simply press the bottom pusher. That resets the seconds to zero. I'm sorry you can't see this because the hour hand is on the six there, but when you press the bottom pusher, that takes the second hand right up to, or, or sorry, the minute, the minute tracker, really. We've got hours, minutes, seconds, so... Um, Let's go ahead and push that. Sorry, that is the second hand, sorry. So I've pushed this one here. That has started the second hand moving around this bottom circular dial here. And once a minute has passed, it will just edge up and move in one minute on these, these markers here. You've got 23 hours, 59 minutes, 59 seconds. Simply stop. The chronograph here you can see that the seconds are stopped on about 26 seconds and then just push the bottom pusher to reset to zero and then push again and it will actually go back to where it should be the second where the second hand should be as in if I pull out my G-Shock you can see that they are pretty much matched up. And that's the other thing about this watch. It's 262 kilohertz quartz, which means it beats it a much higher uh, ratio. Uh, I think off the top of my head, it's eight times more accurate than a standard quartz, which means that this rakes in around about 10 seconds of accuracy per year. 
Now, unfortunately, I've not uh, been tracking this for the last year, but I can tell you that I check this every other week and the claim is probably fairly close to true. You really don't lose too many seconds on this thing. Battery life is said to be, I think, about two years, two or three years. I have owned this for over a year and this is on the same battery. There are four screws holding this in. Just flathead screwdriver will uh, get this out uh, quite easily. Uh, just something to note, uh, guys. It does have a signed crown as well. Let me flip this over. You can see the signed Bulliver buckle there. And again, Bulliver are really proud of this one um, because they've even got Bulliver etched into the rubber strap. You do have the see-through case back. You can see all of the nuts and bolts there that, that, that make up the the movement. And what's actually significantly, what really impressed me with this thing is that if I just flip this over one more time, this actually has 11 jewels, a quartz watch with 11 jewels. They've got the Bulliver kind of sticker covering the battery. I actually wish they didn't do that. I want to see the battery. Some people don't. I do. I, I just don't care. It, it doesn't affect me in any way seeing the battery. I know it's a quartz. Let's appreciate quartz. Quartz is fantastic. People often think, oh, maybe quartz isn't as good as uh, automatics. You couldn't be more wrong. You couldn't be more wrong. You've got this, which is a high performance, high accuracy quartz. There's the Bulliver logo, if you're interested. You can see the copper coils there. Uh, there's one, two, three, four. Why is that? Well, because we've got one, two, three, and then we've got the actual, uh, the main kind of face. So we've got four faces. Each one powers its own respective hands. So a, a truly stunning watch, really. Highly recommended in rose gold, titanium, if you do purchase this, I just, I can't see how you would be disappointed. It's it's a true beauty. It's just turned six o'clock. And as you can see, it's dead on accurate. 15 seconds as it was on the, uh, the G-Shock as well. Not much more to be said about this one, apart from the fact that uh, I really should wear it more. Uh, just one thing that people got completely confused over in the previous video. On some of the other watches, it didn't... Uh, on some of the other Bulliver Curves, the very early ones, it didn't say high-performance quartz. I think it said something slightly different, I can't remember. Bulliver actually changed the wording. So people on my previous video, some people... Not many, but some people said, oh, is that, is that a fake? Is it fake? It's fake. It's not a fake. I don't deal in fakes. I would never put a fake on the channel unless I'm smashing it up with a hammer. Now, this is the real deal. Please, if you see whether, whether, any of these, and they say high-performance quotes, don't think they're fake. They're genuine, guys. This Bulliver confirmed it. Unfortunately, there's a guy on YouTube who spread a malicious rumour that they were fakes and suddenly you've got armies of people thinking they're fake. They're not, they're real, they're very real. Uh, all in all, uh, it's a great watch, I love it. I, I think I will give it a little bit more wrist time. Again, the fact that people, I mean, I don't really care what other people think of my watches, but the fact that people who wear Omegas, uh, Rolexes and Tag Heuers have commented on this watch and told me how much they like it, uh, that's, it's just a really nice compliment, isn't it, guys, you know? And that's how it looks on my wrist. I've got a 7.25-inch wrist. I've probably put that on a bit too tight, actually. Let's put that on a little bit more loose. Uh, plenty, plenty of bandwidth. Uh, that's how it looks. So, all in all, it's been a great watch over the last year. Again, I need to wear it more. I think I will. The curvature as well, I forgot to mention. Did I mention it's the world's first curved chronograph? It really is a beauty. I hope you can see how much I do enjoy this piece. Uh, one final thing, I did say this on the original review. If you look at the 
chapter ring here, you can see it's kind of got these lines, diagonal lines, and then if you go ahead and look at the strap, you can see that as well. I do believe that's ha that's got to be intentional. And it's just, I think that's an absolutely, it's just sheer attention to detail. The fact that the inner chapter ring is diagonal and it follows through on the strap. Just a beautiful watch, a real credit to Beloved's history. They've got a record of being the world's first for many different things. What can I say? Okay, I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.